Imagine the North Pole deciding to take a spontaneous vacation, swapping places with the South Pole like some cosmic game of musical chairs. It sounds absurd, right? I mean, think about the chaos. Our trusty magnetic compasses would throw a tantrum, maps would need urgent makeovers, and birds would likely stage a protest against this celestial mix-up. But hold on to your magnetic hats, because this isn't just a wild science fiction plot. It's a real phenomenon called geomagnetic reversal, and it's way more thrilling than you might imagine. Picture this, Earth's magnetic field, the superhero shield that shields us from solar villainy, decides to hit the snooze button and takes a power nap, dropping to a mere 10% of its usual strength. Now I know what you're thinking, that doesn't sound too dangerous. But here's the kicker, it's not the reversal itself that's the troublemaker. It's the dramatic build-up to the grand switcheroo. In 2021, scientists were tossing around predictions of climate roller coasters and mass extinctions, warning us about satellites doing backflips, electrical grids taking impromptu vacations, and deadly radiation tap dancing its way down to Earth for a few centuries, maybe even a few millennia. Now, here's the plot twist. We're a couple of hundred thousand years fashionably late for our geomagnetic reversal appointment. And guess what? According to the magnetic mood swings our scientists are currently detecting, the pre-show for this magnetic circus might already be underway. So, should we start hotting compasses and building underground bird sanctuaries? It's a question that's sending shockwaves through the scientific community and giving us all a front row seat to the Earth's magnetic drama. Buckle up, folks! Welcome to Spaceverse, your gateway to the cosmic wonders of the universe. On this channel, we unravel the mysteries of space, exploring everything from the dance of Earth's magnetic fields to the potential impacts of geomagnetic reversals. Join us on a celestial journey as we navigate the cosmic seas of uncertainty, delving into the fascinating world of space exploration and discovery. Whether you're a seasoned stargazer or a cosmic enthusiast, Spaceverse invites you to embark on an interstellar adventure where the mysteries of the universe come to life. Subscribe. Buckle up and let the cosmic exploration begin. Let's embark on a magnetic journey to unravel the origins of Earth's magnetic field, a phenomenon that isn't a cosmic guarantee. Take a glance at our planetary neighbors, Mars and Venus. They are rocking the magnetic field-free lifestyle. Meanwhile, Earth boasts a magnetic shield, and boy, are we grateful for it. This invisible force field isn't just for show. It's a life-saving feature. Without it, the relentless solar radiation would play havoc with our DNA, triggering mutations and unleashing a wave of cancers that could have nipped life in the bud. Now, the scientific brainiacs are still piecing together the magnetic puzzle. Why does Earth get a magnetic field when others, ahem Mars and Venus, miss the memo? Enter the leading theory. Our planet's core is a magnetic maestro, pulling off a dynamo act. It's a physics waltz where electrical fields and magnetic fields twirl in a cosmic dance. Picture a power plant in action. Slide a magnet through a coil of wires and bam, you've got electrical current flowing. Flip the script and the motion of electrons crafts a magnetic field. Cue Faraday's law of induction. Now Earth's core is where the magic happens, and it's a sophisticated tango. Picture this. A partly liquid core, check. Beyond the solid inner core lies a liquid outer core where the pressure isn't hardcore enough to keep things solid. It's like a lava lamp in there, sizzling at 6,000 degrees Celsius, giving the sun surface a run for its money. This liquid concoction, mainly iron and nickel, swirls and whirls, obeying the cosmic choreography that keeps our magnetic field alive and kicking. It's a hot, magnetic ballet beneath our feet, ensuring our planet stays shielded and life-friendly. You knew the dance of electrons and molten metals could be so crucial for our cosmic survival. Picture this, a temperature roller coaster beneath the Earth's surface, where things cool as you move away from the center. Cue the cosmic circulation dance. Hot, conductive material from the toasty depths of the outer core rises, takes a chill pill, and gracefully descends orchestrating loops and currents. Voila! Our electrical field makes its grand entrance. Now here's the magnetic head-scratcher. With all these swirling loops, why isn't Earth a magnetic mishmash with fields pointing every which way? Enter the MVP of magnetic order. The Coriolis effect. According to the Dynamo theory, this force plays raftery, directing the magnetic traffic into a unified flow. Imagine these flows of iron not as straight arrows but as elegant spirals, 
courtesy of the Coriolis effect. As the Earth spins in its celestial pirouette, it gently twirls these spirals, transforming them into colossal springs. Each segment of these springs, playing magnet maestro, creates a magnetic field circling around it. The collective result, an inside-outside magnetic tango. Inside the springs, a solid, united magnetic field ascends in harmony, while outside, it gracefully descends, looping back into the magnetic dance floor. In simpler terms, it's the Coriolis effect choreographing a magnetic symphony, giving us the iconic duo, the North and South Poles. So, next time you ponder Earth's magnetic prowess, tip your hat to the Coriolis effect for keeping the magnetic chaos in check and delivering the cosmic elegance of our well-behaved magnetic dipole. Here's the kicker. This whole magnetic field gig is a delicate dance, and it's all about liquid iron doing a cosmic slush around the Earth's core. Picture it like a magnetic cocktail mixer, constantly swirling, never consistent. Our magnetic field is the cool cat with a bit of swagger, showing off its fluctuations and wobbles. One major headliner in this magnetic circus is our North Pole, the ultimate wonder. Since the magnetic tabloids started tracking it in 1831, the North Pole has been on a grand tour, strutting about 1,100 kilometers away from its original Canadian residence and making a beeline for Siberia. And here's the jaw-dropper. The pace of its stroll has escalated from a leisurely 16 kilometers per year to a brisk 55 kilometers per year. Talk about a magnetic speed demon. Now, before you think we're on the brink of a magnetic world tour, consider this. It might be akin to the momentary wobbles of a spinning top. A little deviation, sure, but it mostly stays upright. But hold your magnetic hats, because scientists are dropping bombshells. They're certain that complete magnetic makeovers, aka reversals, have rocked the magnetic scene 183 times in the last 83 million years. How do they pull this off, you ask? Enter Earth's surface iron, the silent witness to magnetic history. When magma strips its stuff from the Earth's mantle, it carries a dash of iron along for the ride. This iron, being the cosmic trendsetter it is, aligns itself with the Earth's magnetic vibes. But here's the plot twist. Scientists noticed layers in the geological playbook where the iron was pointing one way and then fashionably later, doing a 180. The big reveal, the entire planet decided to do a pole flipping party. On average, these magnetic makeovers throw confetti every 450,000 years. Though the latest shindigs seem to have cut the line, happening every 300,000 years. And here we are, waiting for the encore. It's been a whopping 750,000 years since the last magnetic flip. Time to brace ourselves for a potential magnetic drama that could rival any blockbuster. Now, you might be glancing at your calendar, thinking we're overdue for a magnetic makeover, and hey, some folks have thrown that claim into the cosmic ring. But hold on to your magnetic hats, because scientists have unraveled a wild truth. There's no method to the madness when it comes to the timing of these magnetic flips. It's like a cosmic game of musical chairs with no set playlist. In the Cretaceous period, Mother Earth pulled off one of the longest gap fillers, a whopping 40 million years between flips. Then there's the rock star of reversals, the Kiam Reverse Supercron, where the Earth enjoyed a cool 50 million years of magnetic stability. No reversal in sight. Imagine magnetic serenity for 50 million years. Talk about a showstopper. Now let's dive into the magnetic backstage chaos. The current theory suggests that some interplay between the mantle and the outer core hits the core with a spin quake. This disrupts the magnetic choreography, shattering the graceful spirals into a sprawling mass. The Earth's magnetic field transforms into a rebellious teenager, fighting against itself, and multiple magnetic poles throw a temporary party, leaving us in a state of magnetic confusion. But fear not. After this cosmic rebellious phase, things settle down. The spirals regain control and order is restored. The catch? It's a bit of a waiting game, taking anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 years for the magnetic calm after the storm. Now, you might wonder, why does this magnetic drama matter? Brace yourself, because during the waiting game, Earth's magnetic field takes a nosedive, dropping to a feeble 10% of its current strength. And here's where it gets real. Imagine auroras waltzing much further south, skin cancer rates doing the charcha, satellites left defenseless in the face of space radiation, doing the cosmic equivalent of the robot dance as their circuits fry. Our electrical grid, usually the unsung hero of modern life, 
becomes a vulnerable victim to solar storms, potentially leaving large chunks of our global civilization in the dark. It's like a plot twist in a science fiction thriller, and the stakes are high. So, while we might not be panicking about a magnetic apocalypse just yet, it's a magnetic roller coaster worth keeping an eye on. Now buckle up for a twist in the magnetic tale. A research team from the University of New South Wales in Sydney linked one of the recent magnetic field hiccups, the Lashimp event, to a wild chapter of megafaunal mass extinctions in Australia. Think Diprotodon, giant wombats, and Procoptodon golia, giant kangaroos, bidding farewell. This event wasn't a full-blown magnetic flip, but a temporary 800-year wobble, known as a geomagnetic excursion. Picture it as a magnetic hiccup, a cosmic burp that happens over much shorter timeframes, causing a bit of havoc. In their 2021 study, the researchers suggested that the Lashimp event led to a spike in atmospheric radiocarbon levels, triggering climate shifts that played a gloomy tune for these Aussie megafauna. The timing raises eyebrows, but let's dive into the risk report card. On the bright side, other than this study, there's no magnetic rap sheet linking reversals to mass extinctions globally. Many reversals have done their cosmic dance without bothering the plants and critters. Even in the Lashimp event drama, it seems the mass extinctions were more of a local affair. Australia had its cosmic showdown, while the rest of the world sipped its cosmic tea without a care. It's like a celestial game of musical chairs, and Australia just happened to be caught in the magnetic limelight. Now, for the global society on the magnetic roller coaster, here's a tidbit. These magnetic mood swings take their sweet time, spanning many lifetimes, even at their fastest. It's a slow dance, giving us room to adapt to our new magnetic reality. If our satellites are feeling a bit naked without proper shielding, we've got time to suit them up. Should solar radiation become the new cosmic rock star, we can just cozy up indoors a bit more. Sunscreen might level up to superhero status, tackling the cancer risk head-on. And here's a nugget from NASA to ease the cosmic jitters. Even if our magnetic field were to throw a tantrum and weaken significantly, we're not left defenseless. Our trusty atmosphere can play goalie, catching radiation and keeping us shielded from solar winds and cosmic mischief, at least to some extent. The ozone, our atmospheric superhero, isn't packing its bags anytime soon. So, while the magnetic theatrics may continue, humanity's cosmic survival dance seems set to a slow, adaptable rhythm. You've got a keen eye for the cosmic plot twist, and your concerns about potential turmoil during a magnetic shakeup are on point. Societal adjustments are rarely a walk in the park, and navigating life under a reduced magnetic field would likely present its fair share of challenges. Changes of this magnitude are known to be a tad turbulent. Now, here's a cosmic fact that might raise an eyebrow or two. The Earth's magnetic field has been on a gradual weakening spree for the past 200 years. It's like our magnetic guardian is on a subtle fade-out, and it would take another 1,300 years for it to bid us adieu completely. The optimist in us hopes this is just a cosmic hiccup, a temporary wobble, and the magnetic field will pull a comeback tour. But wait, there's more. Enter the South Atlantic Anomaly, a magnetic hotspot that's already waving red flags, covering a chunk of space around South America and its aquatic neighbor. This anomaly isn't just a celestial sideshow, it's flexing its weakening muscles. This magnetic danger zone has a track record of toasting satellites and giving astronauts a cosmic migraine. Even the Hubble telescope takes a magnetic breather whenever it ventures through this region. Now, imagine this on a global scale and you've got a sneak peek into what might unfold during a magnetic reversal. To add a dash of concern, the South Atlantic anomaly has been steadily expanding since we started keeping tabs on it. It's like the magnetic orchestra tuning up for a grand performance. Is this a sign of another geomagnetic wobble, akin to the Lashimp event, or are we on the brink of a full-blown reversal? The cosmic jury is still out, but the clues suggest that the magnetic plot twists are far from over. It's a magnetic drama worth keeping an eye on as we navigate the cosmic seas of uncertainty. You've hit the cosmic nail on the head. While a geomagnetic reversal might not be the curtain call for civilization, it's not a cosmic cakewalk either. The potential impacts, as hinted by the study on Australian megafauna, could indeed reshape the world as we know it. Species might face the cosmic guillotine, and us humans would need to adjust to a space environment with a new set of hazards. The magnetic drama is like a slow-burning celestial thriller, 
and even if the climax isn't in our cosmic watch list, future generations might be front row spectators. The cosmic script may unfold in their lifetime, turning the once hypothetical into a tangible cosmic reality. It's a reminder that while we ponder the magnetic mysteries today, the generations after us might be the ones navigating a world with a magnetic makeover. So, as we delve into the wonders of geomagnetic reversals, it's a cosmic journey that extends beyond our years. A magnetic legacy for the cosmic chapters yet to be written. The cosmic drama continues, and the stage is set for future generations to witness the cosmic twists and turns that lie ahead. As we conclude our cosmic voyage on Spaceverse, I hope you've enjoyed our dive into the celestial unknown. Don't forget to hit that like button, share with fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe for more cosmic content. Join our community as we continue to unravel the cosmic tapestry, exploring the wonders of space together. Until our next cosmic rendezvous, keep looking up, and may the stars illuminate your journey through the spaceverse.